The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. What do you try to do to rebound from the alarm lock? Mm, that's a good question. Uh, you know, probably not anything uh, except talk about the next ball game and try to, uh, you know, try to make sure that uh, that we're not doing stinking thinking, that we're thinking right about it, that we're thinking right about uh, – Newberry, very, very capable football team. Uh, just got through watching them against LR. And, uh, I mean, I think it was a 23 to 14 game, and, and uh, LR kicked two field goals in the last quarter to make it that much. It was 17 14 going into the fourth quarter. So, um, you know, we know they're a very capable team, and, and uh, we've got to play well, and so we've tried to concentrate on us, not on the past or not on who we play in the future. We're just trying to think about today and take care of today. If we don't take care of today, then we're in trouble tomorrow. And so uh, that's the main thing we're trying to do. Now, the Newberry team that <coughs> the playoff run to four and five this year, how scary are they? Pretty much with everybody back with records. Yeah, uh, had uh, had according to their publications, you know, we're uh, thinking that this was going to be their year, and uh, and they've lost some tough ones, and uh, but but the ones they've won, they've been they've been really a good football team, and so you know, I think uh, I think they've struggled a little bit with. Uh, maybe waiting for the playoffs and then you lose while you're waiting for the playoffs. And uh, so, and uh, we've been there before, I know how that is. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, anybody that has been very, very successful and made it to the national playoffs, maybe even advanced in the national playoffs, sometimes you, you're you waiting for the national playoffs and you, and you mess up uh, trying to get there. Uh, two quarterback system. Well, uh, <clears throat> of course, uh, one of them probably throws a little bit better and one of them is quick as a hiccup, you know, and he runs very, very well. And, you know, a running quarterback, uh, their, their scheme against us, uh, both times we played them last year was was run the quarterback. And, uh, and they didn't make any bones about it. Uh, you know, they started off the game empty in the backfield and running the quarterback. And so uh, – you know, we know that um, that's a uh, that's something that we're going to have to match up with, and and try to match up uh, the speed of the quarterback when he starts running, and that's not easy. Does uh, do the last year's two games weigh on you at all, or how do you put them out of uh, outside out of mind? Well, you know, you, as a coach, you always evaluate what. Uh, what you did the last time you played them. I mean, that's just part of the routine that you do as a, as a coach. But it's um, uh, the, the outcome of those games don't have anything to do whatsoever with the outcome of these ball games, except <clears throat> it gives them a mental edge in the fact that, you know, if somebody beat us twice last year, then we're probably geared up a little bit higher than, you know, uh, the fact that they beat us twice last year. Well, we sure have spent a lot of time uh, emphasizing it and uh, talking about it. And, uh, you know, it's something that uh, has really been a uh, – it's been a big handicap for us this year, turnovers have. And especially the last two or three weeks, uh, it's been a major disaster. And so uh, we've never been a fumbling football team to the extent that we are right now. And so I'm hoping that – you know, that we'll get that corrected. And some of them have been freakish uh, at the same time. Some of them have been f lack of uh, uh, concentration on our part. And so we're hoping we can correct those things. Uh, <coughs> as of right now, you guys are on the outside looking into the playoffs. And I know you want to take it one game at a time. But how do you ensure that the seniors who may feel a little extra weight on their shoulders, knowing that these might be their last two games, 
how do you ensure that they stay relaxed and stay focused on the weekend? Well, you, uh, <clears throat> you, you preach as much as you can about living today and not tomorrow. Uh, you talk about if you don't take care of today, then why worry about tomorrow? You know, and uh, and uh, you talk about uh, uh, you know don't don't look at it as far as next game, next game, next game. Look at it as you know this may be the only day of our life, so let's live out this day and let's do the best we can with it. And so it's a life it's a life principle as much as it is a football principle. And so uh, <clears throat> I don't think uh, uh, you know I. It's the same thing you've heard me say 9,000 times. Take care of the controllables and quit worrying about the uncontrollables. And that's where we are right now. we got to take care of the controllables, and that's how we practice, how we play, how we prepare, how we work on this thing. I know you'd probably prefer to get up early, get up big, but your team has been fantastic in the second half the last couple of weeks, especially defensively. Um, what do you think it says about your group that – when their backs are against the wall, they're able to come through and really show their best side of themselves. Well, somebody needs to hire a head coach for the first half, and uh, <clears throat> maybe we could uh, get this thing turned around. I don't, I can't explain it. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I think um, uh, it's basically. I mean, it's the same kids. It's the same coaches. It's the same scheme. We have made a few adjustments, but not anything major. You know, and uh, I don't know. Uh, we've talked about, uh, you know, maybe we're playing uh, with too much emotion in the first half, so consequently we make uh, mental mistakes. Uh, we've talked about it all. Uh, but uh, I really don't know. I, I, I personally think it's just a part of, of the maturation process of our football team, that we, we've been like this all year. You know, when you look at us from play to play, you know, on one play, we'll look like we're the best team in America, and, and I think we're close to that at times. And then you turn it around, and we can look like we're not even a good high school team. And so, I don't know. Uh, if you can figure that out for me, I'll give you – I'll tell you what, I'll buy you all you can eat at Pizza Inn. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give that shot. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you don't like Pizza Inn, I'll take you to Bojangles for all you can eat. Okay, you're on. <laughs> <clears throat> um, more offensively, you guys haven't really had a whole lot of success passing the football the last several weeks. Is that a game plan part of it? Where no. Where you guys do want to run the football a little more? Or what do you no. do to get the pass game? It's, it's, it's called do what's necessary to win uh, because we haven't thrown it very well. And uh, <clears throat> that for various reasons. Uh, uh, it's not all because of the quarterback. It, it has something to do with protection. It has something to do with, with uh, you know, we're rotating six receivers, and it seems like, you know, about the time we're ready to make something happen, we'll have a little breakdown in, the, in one of them not doing what they're supposed to do. Or, uh, <clears throat> and we got to give the other team credit too, you know. It's, uh, uh, we've had some – bump and run coverage that uh, we haven't we haven't dared you know bump and run is uh, is like it's you know it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a uh, get a dollar bill out of it or get nothing out of it and uh, so <clears throat> uh, they have chosen to give us uh, some aspects of the running game that we can take advantage of and and uh, and still have, Wasting a down, which we've been taking three downs to get a first down to keep drives alive. We, we've just chosen to, to keep doing that. <clears throat> and uh, uh, people haven't changed defensively because we haven't thrown it. Uh, we're getting the same looks as we would have anyway. And, uh, but we need to throw it. There's no question about that. We need to throw it and throw it successfully. And... Uh, and I think we're very capable of doing that. I think we got a capable group of receivers. I think we got a, uh, a quarterback that threw it well last year. He's not throwing it as well this year. Uh, but then uh, uh, we got a scheme that uh, 
it's a good scheme as far as passing games concerned. We spend 50% of our practice time working on passing game. And um, it's got to get better. Uh, first <coughs> No, I think uh, 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 I think we um, we've we've not done a very good job blocking a backside linebacker, and uh, people are just unloading backside linebackers on us, and uh, and you know for some uh, reason uh, that. We're, we're having get we're having trouble getting offensive linemen off to the backside linebacker. It's just something you know that there's been probably ten times that the backside linebacker has come and made a tackle. It might be down down the field, uh, but but we're not getting a job done there in that area. Well, you can't tell that it's a four four any different than what anybody else does. It'll be basically. Uh, you know, you can put any kind of numbers you want to on it, but it's basically about the same alignment that we've seen. Now we may, uh, you know, they may be into some, uh, you know, a 50 stack type thing a little bit more than we've seen. But uh, it's just variations of the same thing. You know, it don't matter what it's called. Anybody in particular? <coughs> If they're breathing, I'm I'm scared of them, okay? Because uh, they they really have got a good football team, personnel-wise, on both sides of the ball. <laughs>